Well, it's a cold night in Seattle, but at the very least, the roof will be shut to shield us from some of that. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Boston Red Sox and the Seattle Mariners. Mariners baseball comes your way next. Malik Smith, the next to hit. He Leading went deep in the Boston, contest last night. Center fielder, number zero. No one down here. Line toward the alley in left center. Number 87 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Harold, what's the key to a road victory for them in this one? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know, I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Standing in, Ray in Chavez. Tonight, and the home the away fielder, splits tell us Ray he's actually quite Chavez. a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Number 87 is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Now to the plate, number 87. And he's ready to take his first cut. Number 87. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Harold Reynolds, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four of five prior to that. Yeah, Matt, they've been a little up and down on this road trip, a little inconsistent, but two and two is not bad. Better than being on four. They win this game today, though, and it really kind of turns the tide for them a bit. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Hey, let's go, Big Phil. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, great attack. Nice piece. And the streak will continue as he creeps even higher up the all time list. You start getting into the 30s, you're talking about a month and some change. That is really a hot streak, and I don't consider it just a streak anymore. He's pretty good. Batting fourth. At the plate, fielder. Elmer Rodriguez. Elmer. Comes Rodriguez. off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Yeah, let her rip one time. First and second now, one man out. That's in there, base hit. Wimberly rounds third and is digging for the plate. The runner scores from second, and he's in there safely. He's got a double. Definitely a solid way to start the game offensively. It always feels great to jump out to a 1-0 lead in the first inning, but now they've got a chance to really set the tone. Two more runners in scoring position that they obviously don't want to leave out there. Stepping into the box, Ken batting Coleman. Fair. He comes into play batting with a batting average in Ken the respectable 270s. Bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw on to first, two gone. And now a quick look at the Mariners' starting lineup in this one. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, this is a pitcher's ballpark. You can hit your best ball, and it's not going to get out of the ballpark. It's going to end up being a flyout. It allows the pitcher to challenge you more. So as a hitter, you have to get out of your mind worrying about the ball not carrying and understanding I'm probably going to get more fastballs than I normally do and be a little more aggressive. All right, come on now. Let it fly. The one and two pitch. 
And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Mariners forced to settle for one. We'll head to inning number two here at Safeco. It's the Mariners one and the Red Sox nothing. Ready for another chance. Number 87. Number 87. Switch hitter batting left here. See it, drive it. Here comes the first pitch. In the dirt. Pro goes to third. And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Oh, one pitch on its way. And misses wide. One ball and one strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Well, that's a nice RBI hit right there, and it gives them a 2 nothing lead early. When you get good pitchers, man, you got to take it to them and take them out of the game early before they settle in. Digging in to try it again. Elmer Rodriguez. Right fielder. Here you go. Elmer Rodriguez. He's, going. he's running towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Let's go, kid. The 0 1 pitch. This one's down to third. And a good throw gets him one gone. Stepping up to the plate, Ken Coleman. Over for Delazero. one here in the early going. Designated hitter, Ken Coleman. All right, come on now. What's that? Let's fly. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard on the ground to second. In time to first, and there are two away. Striding in once again. Paul Levin. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Levin. Hey, your pitch. 0 and 2. Here it comes. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. That RBI base hit right there makes it 3 nothing lead. When you get a good pitcher like they're facing today down early, you got to get him early because when he gets into a groove, then it's his game. Digging in once again, number 87. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. First pitch on its way. And a fastball just a bit up. I'm looking forward to this at bat right here, Matt. Two outs, base is empty, and you got the power guy at the plate. He's going to let it fly. He must. I guarantee you he will. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Nope. And that one stayed up a little high. Now, with the 2 0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. You're sitting 2-0 in that situation. You get the fastball, but it's not the location you want, so you lay off it. I love that. That's great discipline hitting. 
And the pitch on two and one. A fastball that just misses inside. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you. But you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. Yeah. Fastball in there three and two. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Digging in, Elmer. Rodriguez, Up one for two Seattle. with a double on his line right thus far. Elmer Rodriguez. Hey, get on for us here. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Runner goes for second, right side. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, two outs, they send the runner. Now it's more, to me, a run and hit in this situation. Puts the ball in play, gets the base hit. Now you got runners at first and third. Ready for another shot now. Ken now Coleman, two men Patrick on, two Hitter. away here in the fourth. Ken Coleman. Ready on one and two. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw to first in time, and you got to question that decision as this side is retired. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and a couple of men left. We played four full. It's the M's five, and the Red Sox nothing. Ready once again, Anthony Rendon. A hit in two tries so far from the stretch. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 5-1 ball game. Well, Matt, they didn't score much yesterday. You know, the conversation before the game was, was their offense going to be able to do anything today? Right there, that one run might be enough to kind of propel them into a good stretch now. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. One Second for two with a double on the Cattell ledger so far. Marte. And here's a ball hit in the air. Wimberly will put this one away, and the side is retired. Red Sox settle for just the one. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the M's five, and the Red Sox one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now, number 87. Number two 87. base hits, both singles to this point. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Hey, have a rip. Like you can't. Oh, big guy. Get your pitch, huh? First pitch coming. Here it is. A Whoa, fastball man. here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? The 1-0 delivery. Now a shot to center field. Back goes to center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. Two-run shot to straightaway center, number 75 on this great season, as it's now a six-run ball game. One more time. He gets a pitch to handle. You've heard that before. And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number.
Now at the plate, Ray Chavez. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. One run, seven hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Seibel going back to the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he'll make it into third here with a two-out triple. In now is Anthony Rendon. He's two for three thus far. Anthony. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit out towards second. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Matt, that's his third hit of the night, his third single. I'm sure he'd like to have a double or something mixed in, but for now, he'll take the three for four. Digging in and looking for more. Batter, number 87. Number it's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. And he goes the other way with it. High and deep down the left field line. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chavez giving chase. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mariners are down on four pitches. They're on top seven to two. Back now in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we're set for what's left of this one from Safeco. Well, that's win number 90 on the season for them so far, and they've been a force on the field all year long. And by the looks of it, they're not done yet. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The Mariners with their 90th win best in the division. Oscar Morales earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Michael Fulmer couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.